The Black Heritage Library and Multicultural Center started in 1982. Thanks to the wonderful support of my mother, I was able to get the center off the ground. And the reason I felt it so important to start the library was I knew that growing up in Finley, African American students needed to have a wonderful awareness and understanding of their great heritage. And for Caucasian students and other minorities, they needed to be aware and have an appreciation of African American heritage. Coming from Finley, um, it's 96% white. And that's not, there's nothing wrong with that, however, it's, it's, it's sometimes a little bit more challenging to get different perspectives. Me as a kid growing up in Finley, it was hard for me to find a place um, where I could uh, grasp other perspectives other than you know the uh, white perspective. In order for them to have that appreciation and for Caucasian students to have that awareness, I felt it important. And w what a better place but a library where it would be welcoming and warm and inviting and public. When I was at school and I was thinking about, you know, what I want to do for the summer, I really wanted to just, you know, do something that, that I was passionate about. And me being an African American studies major at school, I figured that I should find somewhere that pertains to what I want to do in the future. So the Black Heritage Library was perfect for that. We have art and artifacts from over 50 countries. We have art from local artists here in Finley, Toledo, Lima, and we're welcoming other artists to donate multicultural art here. We received the Black Wings exhibit. And it features early pioneers, African-American pioneers in aviation, up to the Tuskegee Airmen, the great Tuskegee Airmen, and um, it finishes with the space shuttle program. We're the only library or museum in the world to have received this gift, permanent gift, from the Smithsonian. We have pottery and other art and artifacts from Latino heritage. We have a Japanese exhibit. The Black Heritage Library and Multicultural Center offers programs from Head Start up to the seniors. With programs like the Mentoring Men program, like teachers bringing kids here and we, we talk to them about, let's say, the Moors of North Africa or just different cultures like that, that's how um, the change is going to be uh, made is, is in little efforts like this. We have programs throughout the year. We're also available for tours and special programs. All you have to do is give us a call and we will tailor a program just for your group. It's fabulous. You're going to be able to come in here and find something from your culture as well as from other cultures. If every single kid had to, let's say, come to the Black Heritage Library and go through a program that, let's say, teaches them about their identity and what they can do with their identity. Um, I think the world would be, you know, 10 times better. The Black Heritage Library and Multicultural Center is for everyone. It's for people wanting to learn, wanting to get greater education and appreciation. Associating yourself with other people who are different is very important because it makes you stronger as a person, it makes you grow. And if you're stronger and you can grow as much as you can, then the community that you work in and live in is going to reflect that. Promoting cultural diversity is critical because we all have a part in this tapestry of this country's greatness. The center has been truly blessed. I thank God that we have been able to stay alive and thrive for 34 years off of a shoestring budget because it's important to get the message out and to fulfill our mission. Here at the Black Heritage Library, 
We are making the troops. We are creating the troops to make change. It is welcoming. It is warm. It is for everyone. It is not just for African Americans. It is for all Americans.